I am so sorry. I missed last week's um, 14 week or two weeks ago's 14 week bunk date. I actually like I filmed it and everything, and then I don't know what happened to the footage. I think when I was um, messing around on my computer and like moving stuff from my like computer to my external hard drive, I think I must have cleared my memory card or deleted too many of something. I don't really know what happened, but it's gone. Um, so I'm kind of bummed about that, but um, I'm here this week. <laughs> um, so this week is 16 weeks. I am officially 16 weeks and like 16 week and, 16, 16 weeks and one day today. So my last month it was at 12 weeks and now I hear I'm a month later at 16 weeks and it doesn't even feel like a month to be honest. It does like it feels like I don't know. It's just like it's going by way too fast. Okay, so at 16 weeks, I'm looking at my iPad. I don't have my actual app, so I'm just going off of um, what this webpage says. It's from The Bump, so I think it's the same thing as my app because that's one of the apps that I use is The Bump. Um, for 16 weeks, it says the baby is measuring uh, about four and a half inches long and weighs about three and a half ounces. Um, they say that... Um, that they can probably hear by now, that they can kind of, they're starting to hear outside noises, they're starting to pick up on, like, I don't think they can hear, like, necessarily, like, outside, outside noises, but I know that they can hear, like, my voice and, like, body gurgles and whatever all that noise is going on inside me. Um, <laughs> so that's kind of cool. It says, baby's starting to be able to hear your voice, and he or she will recognize it at birth. Um, so... <laughs> Uh, I kind of feel bad for him or her for when she can out start hearing like outside voices because um, Riley likes to get up there and be and like yell and scream and I did a video yesterday and she's like oh so cute so cute and like she was like yelling it and I was like your poor baby brother or baby sister in there when she when he or she has to start hearing that she's definitely gonna know who you are by the time he's born um, so <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, but I kind of have to remember things that I said in my 14 week one. Um, I think the main thing that I said in my 14 week one is, um, that I had start, I had started feeling movement. Um, so I definitely, I definitely by now I'm feeling movement. It's getting more defined, like it seems like by the day. Um, I first felt my first, what I thought was movement at, and what I still think was movement at like 13, 13 weeks, four days, five days, I can't remember exactly, um, was the first time I thought I felt movement, which is absolutely insane. I've read online that it is possible, and I'm in a, on this app, there's like a little community tab for other people that are due in January too, and other people on their second and third babies are like, no, yeah, I started feeling movement at 13 weeks too, and so I was like, okay, maybe I'm not crazy. Um, but now I definitely know it's movement and um, it's just really cool and I like being able to lay down and listen to the Doppler and at times like if I get the Doppler just right and it's just like the right moment um, you can hear the movement on the Doppler you can hear like a kick or a swoosh as like it moves um, and like most of the time I can match that up to what I'm feeling and that's just like I don't know it's so cool um, what else it says 16 weeks pregnant is three months, so three three months and about three weeks pregnant, so we're almost at four months pregnant. Um, that's cool. Uh, what else? I went to my doctor's appointment for my 16 weeks um, yesterday, exactly on 16 weeks, and we um, didn't do much. Um, Appointments like those, like a lot of like in between appointments, are just kind of really pointless in my opinion. Um, like there's like they come in and the doctor talks to you and he's like, "Do you have any questions?" And you're like, "No," and then he's like, "Okay, well let's listen to the baby's heartbeat." And you find the heartbeat, and then he's like, "Okay, cool. Well, come in another four weeks," and you're like, "Okay." <laughs> um, so I felt like that was kind of what this appointment was. Um, but because I got in so late, like I think my first appointment was at 12 weeks. Was it? Yeah. 12 weeks was my first appointment, so I missed that first first initial appointment. Um, so I had to give blood. Um, and <laughs> what sucks about my veins 
and giving blood. Um, and which I, what I, what part I don't like about pregnancy, I don't really mind it. Well, I won't say I don't like it, but I don't really, it's like the least enjoyable part for me. <laughs> and I think for most people is the, um, getting blood drawn. And I, I tried to tell them, I was like, don't do it on this, on, on my arm. Like you're not going to get anything. And they were like, okay, well, we're just going to try. And I was like, okay. <laughs> um, and so they tried it and sure enough. Um, blew a vessel or popped the thing or whatever and so I have a nice little bruise from that and then they went on to my hand and then they finally got it and I was like I kind of told you that um, <laughs> so they stick they stuck me in this hand and got most of the blood that they needed and then this hand tapped out and it wasn't giving me any blood more blood so then I had to go over to this hand and then they uh, drew blood from this one so uh, at least the appointment wasn't completely pointless, like I at least gave blood. Um, but the cool thing is we have officially scheduled the date for our anatomy scan. Um, so obviously the most important part of the anatomy scan is the um, checking baby and making sure, you know, you can see like um, five fingers and five toes and making sure everything's growing right on track and there's no signs of um i think they can check for down syndrome at that time and a few other um worrisome issues that might arise um but then the fun part is getting to find out gender so we officially have an appointment for when we will be able to find out the gender um and it's really cool because it's actually on my dad's birthday um so I'm sure we'll be able to call him and give him the cool news on his birthday. Uh, so that's kind of cool. And I don't have my my phone. My, my Riley's using my phone. So I, I don't have any of my notes written down or anything. So I don't really remember. <sighs> I'm having a hard time right now. Let's just read through this. Maybe this will draw me. Um, back aches. No back aches. Um, bigger boobs. Um, I'm not quite sure. Um, <laughs> My boobs are kind of big to begin with. Uh, constipation, no. Forgetfulness, yeah. <laughs> um, dry, itchy, sensitive eyes, no. Glowing skin, no. Nah. Although it might be kind of dis deceiving today because I have makeup on and I never put makeup on. Um, I'm not really sure, what else? Um, weight gain, I haven't gained any weight. Um, I've actually lost a little bit more um, but my doctor is not concerned. That's another thing. I did finally get to talk to him about um, exercise, and he said any exercise is fine. He said once you get like farther along at like 28 weeks or so, whenever you start feeling uncomfortable doing like exercises lying on your back, then you are gonna want to stop doing that. But like that's kind of like up to you sort of thing. Um, he's like, I won't tell you to stop. You just kind of listen to your body, and it might be sooner, it might be later depending on how big baby is and how what, what you're feeling sort of thing. Um, so right now, I'm continuing to do my exercise like normal, modifying some things, like I'm not doing twisting motions, um, but I'm doing exercise just the same. Um, another thing is I'm still sleeping on my stomach. I'm only 16 weeks, so I'm probably gonna be able to still sleep on my stomach up until about, I think with Riley, I slept on my stomach until about almost like 25 weeks-ish. I think is when I started to get a little bit I'm more like nervous about sleeping on my belly um but I'm definitely a stomach sleeper so yeah <laughs> um I'm not I I will hold on to that as long as I can um what else um it says checklist schedule your 20 week appointment did that um schedule your mid-pregnancy ultrasound did that uh, start a baby name list. <laughs> um, I have been looking more into that. We still are pretty sure about our girl name if it's a girl. Boy names, I'm still so lost on. I have no idea. <laughs> if it's a boy, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, what else? Uh, cravings? <sighs> um, nothing really. I can't think of anything really to be honest. Um, oh, my chai tea. I, I have been obsessing over chai tea and iced coffee and I know that's not like super good for you and people have their opinions on whether or not you should drink coffee at all um, during a pregnancy or not, but um, I definitely am. I'm having one cup, um, so it's a, it's nice chai tea, so it is caffeinated, it does have caffeine in it, but I only have one in the morning and it's a, it's a, it's a serving amount and it's I think it's well under 
what's in a normal cup of coffee which I think is like 130 milligrams and this is like 64 milligrams or something like that um so I, I'm definitely okay there um I can't see anything else let's see what else when I got my blood my blood results everything came back normal um as expected I don't have um HIV or anything <laughs> um uh what else um, I, th I think the coolest part so far is, is the movement and how I'm being able to feel movement just like more and more and um, just every day like I feel movement. Oh, another thing is, is that I've gotten to the point where um, I still don't physically notice a bump on me and I don't notice, I mean, except for in the mornings. Okay, so here's the cool thing is when I go to bed, <laughs> um, uh, if I don't, if I don't get up during the night to go to the restroom in the morning, my bladder is super full and it pushes everything up. And you can like, if I'm laying down on my back, I have a total like you can totally see a bump and like I can feel it, like I can actually see my uterus, like it's cool. And then as soon as I go potty and I lay back down, it's gone. Um, but I'm at the point now, which I think was around 20 weeks with Riley, where in the morning. If I'm wearing a pair of pants, I'm totally comfortable in them, but come the end of the day, um, even if I haven't eaten a lot or done anything really different, um, they're starting to feel tight, and that's already starting to happen. Um, so, that's not fun, but um, I guess it kind of means that things are growing and stuff. I've been having a little bit of round ligament pain, um, nothing too bad. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Um, I feel like a lot of these updates are just kind of like me telling you the same thing because most because my I mean including my last pregnancy It seems my pregnancies are just really uneventful, which I guess is a good thing um, And I'm sure they'll get more I'll have more to say the farther along I get and it'll be more interesting once I actually have like a visible like actual bump and um, I'm sure I'll have more to say the farther along I get but like right now it's just, I feel like I'm saying the same thing every week, which is why I'm not too disappointed about my 14 week one, because I'm like, uh, there wasn't really much to report anyhow. Um, but um, yeah, I was just kind of doing, I was kind of looking to see um, if there's any other um, info online talking about anything special going on um, besides one avocado which is cool. Yeah, that's one of the things that we got. Riley has her little doctor kit and um, it has a little measuring tape. And I was like, I put it on my belly and I was like, oh my gosh, there's like a baby this big, like taking up this much room in my belly right now. Like that's insane. Oh, another thing I talked about last week was um, gender and gender preferences. Um, I don't think I've talked, I don't think I talked about this in my 12 week. I think I said that Riley thought it was gonna be a girl, but I haven't really thought, uh, like talked on, um, me or Jake, like, if we have a preference, um, Jake definitely has a preference, he really wants a girl, like, he's really rooting for another girl, um, me, I don't, I honestly, I don't have a preference, um, which is surprising, because with Riley, from my first pregnancy, I really, I was dead set on a boy, I wanted a boy that you couldn't convince me that it was anything other than a boy, I was dead set on it. It's a boy. Like, it's going to be a boy. I'm having a boy. That's what I want to have, and that's what I'm going to have. Um, I thought for sure I was going to be a boy mom, and, like, I was like, what I really want is I want to have all boys, and I want to, you know, grow old and have, like, them be, like, my boys, and, like, that's how my my nana, um, on my dad's side, she has all boys, and I've just loved that, like, when they all come together on holidays and they get like the pictures together and it's just her surrounded by all her boys and it's just like, I'm like, that's so cute. Um, but obviously I have Riley now and so I really don't have a preference either way. Um, if I have another girl, that'd be really cool because I already have girl clothes. I have a girl name picked out. And plus it'd be really cool for Riley to have like a little sister. She could, you know, do makeup, she loves to do makeup, and it would just be a really cool sister dynamic, um, even though their ages are pretty far apart. Um, but if it's a boy, then I get my <laughs> my all my hopes and wishes from my um, first pregnancy that I had of like the little beanies and just um, 
all the fun stuff. <laughs> Riley's being crazy over there. Um, she's being really distracting. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Come here. Look at this crazy girl. <laughs> Look at this crazy girl. You're such a mess all the time. You are so weird. Anyway, I think that's about all I have this week. Um, the next one will be hopefully I'll get my 18 week bump date actually up for you and it's not another month away. Um, I might do, for my 18 one, I might do a gender prediction like wives tales one. That's been a video I've been wanting to do and I just haven't. But that will be a good time because then <laughs> two weeks later I'll be able to actually tell you guys the gender. Um, so <laughs> anyway, I think I gotta go. <laughs> I have a crazy toddler. Um, but yeah. I think maybe maybe that's what we'll do next week. Wait, Riley, do you have anything to say about baby brother? Oh, yeah. watch her answer. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Riley, what, what's baby brother, baby sister's name going to be? Riley, what do you want to name baby brother, baby sister? <laughs> she's been watching way too much um, Boss Baby, and so anytime we ask her when she's not on a sugar rush or whatever rush she's on right now, um, she always says she wants to name her baby brother, baby sister, Goo Goo Gaga. So, should we name baby brother, baby sister, Goo Goo Gaga? I don't know. No. <laughs> oh, okay, I really gotta go now. Okay, bye. Thanks for watching.